Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel again. Keith here from Command the Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time coming across the channel, please hit that subscribe button below, a thumbs up, or a comment below would be fantastic. 70% of people that come onto this don't subscribe, so honestly, do us a favor, press that button there, please. We're going to talk about Harry Kill, we're going to talk about Jota, and we're going to talk about Alessandro Bernabe. First of all, I don't have the new away jersey just yet. I'm getting it tomorrow. I'm going into JD in Dublin. I know there's going to be people saying on the, oh, would you not get it off the Celtic website? It takes too long to come. I'd rather just pick it up in JD so I can wear it tomorrow night when I'm doing a video. Harry Kill was presented to the media today, presented to Celtic TV. He arrived at Lennox Town in the new training gear. The new training gear looks absolutely slick. I like the new amber around the crest. I like the new Adidas design going down the legs as well. And he kind of went to very similar, sim similar colour to the training gear that we had last season. Except the arms look like they're just, you know, there's not much mesh on them than there was in the last year's gear. So Harry was just talking about he's taken back with the facilities of Lennox Town. He was in, he was in an interview pro process for a job in his second interview and Ange called him and offered him a role of Celtic and he said he is too good to be torn down he said this is his first time working at a massive club like Celtic in years and he's looking forward to just analysing stuff with John Kennedy and the coaching staff and then when this, the players report back to training on Monday he's going to just take a week back see what the way their style of football is and then dig in and can make his own stamp on the team as well obviously approval of Ange so I'm looking forward to seeing Harry being part of the coaching staff obviously he's replacing Steve McManus Steve McManus is going to be co focusing on the B side of, of the development which is fantastic you know Stevens has been at the club a long time as well so um, he's going to be joined the likes of Gavin Strachan Stevie Woods and John Kennedy in the dugout with Ange so good times good times it could be an exciting weekend as I said yesterday in the channel Alessandro Bernabe has arrived from Argentina from Buenos Aires he arrived this morning him and his family the deal has been done it just we're waiting for the club to announce it more likely it could be announced tonight or it could be announced tomorrow 3.75 million I know I said in the channel yesterday it was 3.25 million but it was actually 3.75 million I'm looking forward to seeing this guy play I'm really sceptic about it as well because you know the price tag South American player hasn't played for the big clubs in Argentina hasn't been capped for the senior team yet it's a gamble Celtic are taking but they're confident they're confident in this obviously Ange and his scouts have seen some really good potential in this lad as I said yesterday he could be another Izaguirre or he could be a flop so um, I hope he comes in settles into the culture you know hopefully he has a little bit of English as well so it's just been Span just Spanish and um, could be an Izaguirre fingers crossed let's talk about Jota Jota is in Portugal at the moment is it going to be to happen the weekend where we're going to see Jota in the away jersey being confirmed yesterday a Portuguese outlet called Abola not Ebola Abola from Lisbon broke the story on Twitter that a fee was agreed 6.4 million pounds for Jota now Benfica have a 30% sell on clause to this contract which is madness so we sell them off to anywhere at, with a bit of Champions League experience and wins another league or a couple of leagues or Scottish Cup with us and he goes somewhere in England or somewhere else it means they have 30% of that sell on stake which is madness look at Jota's 23 years of age sc scored some clinical goals for us last year you know 14 assists in there 13 goals massive part of our success of taking that title back and winning the League Cup as well so let's just get this guy over the line I think a lot of people are getting fed up with saying that when is this going to happen it's just another, another clickbait video if stuff pops up on Twitter and put pops up on the tabloids, of course I'm going to put it up and have a chat, which is, you know, that's the, that's what it is, you know, it's that's my job. It's my part-time job to, to vlog about Celtic, so let's see what happens there. In regards to Vicente Souza, this is a guy that we've been linked with, a Brazilian defensive midfielder. Now, he's changed his bio today on social media to Man City. Now, I know Lamel are a pairing club to Man City in regards to the second division in Belgium now he played at KV Mechelen last season which Marion Chavez plays for but is it a case that Man City have him now on the books and he's going to be on loan to Celtic next season really don't know 
I know there's a few clubs in from. I know the likes of PSV have been in from as well. Club Bruges are in from. So will Celtic get Vicente Souza? I know some people have commented on previous videos saying he's not interested. If he was keen, he would have came. It's down to agents. It's down to representatives. It's down to the, whoever is his main parent, main club. And if it's Man City now, we never know. They might as we have Mark Law, well, that's a part was a part of the City Group. He has connections there, so we'll see what happens. Do subscribe to the channel, folks. I'll speak to you all soon. Hell, hell.